hi welcome back to our video so like what I have said let's now have a um, an example regarding the exact DE so here is the steps on how to solve if we have an exact differential equation so we have a total of uh, I mean six steps to solve and to um, to um, demonstrate this then let's have a example real example okay so say we have um, equation which is in this form 4x minus y dx plus 6y minus x dy is equal to 0 so as you can see we are already in this form we have m as a function of x and y so this is our m this is our m this is our m as a function of x and y so this is a function of x and y and it is multiplied by dx and thus we have a function of n of x and y also so uh, this is our n and this is multiplied by dy is equal to zero so we are already in this form and the first thing to us to uh, for us to solve an exact de is of course to test for exactness and we need to prove that this um, differential equation here is really an exact differential equation okay by uh, performing this uh, test for exactness okay so um we have one test for exactness so we need to um uh do the uh, partial derivative of m with respect to y which is um uh, uh when we look at this this is our m and if we take the partial derivative of this m with respect to y alone okay partially with respect to y alone so we will treat our uh, x var uh, variable as constant so we have if we let our x as constant then 4x the derivative of 4x is just 0 minus the derivative of the uh, this this negative y here is of course negative one okay while uh, or it is equal to negative one while on this part if we take the partial derivative of n with respect to x okay and with respect to x as you can see here we take the partial derivative of n with respect to x so my um, my uh, technique here if if I see this n and this is multiplied by dy, then I take the derivative of this with respect to x. Okay, if this is y and dy, then let's take its partial derivative with respect to x. Okay, as well as this, if this is m multiplied by dx, then let's take its partial derivative with respect to y. Okay, so uh, we have to take this and by doing this, we need to... Um, do the partial derivative wherein we also we only need to um, treat our y as constant so by treating y as constant and then the derivative of y 6y is just 0 then the derivative of this negative x is negative 1 so by here we can see that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to n with respect to x they are both negative 1 Okay, so by doing the test for exactness, we um, already evaluated this given DE, which is, we can say that this given DE is, is an exact, exact. Okay, then if this is exact, we can now proceed to step two. Okay, by letting F is equal to the integral of m dx so we have f is equal to the integral of our m dx so this is our m dx m dx 
then we will gonna for uh we'll let our uh, is equal to the integral of our m is 4x minus y then dx okay let's integrate this part here okay then if we let this then on the um, step 3 we have we need to integrate m with respect to x so this is our m with respect to x keeping variable y constant so by uh, doing that our by uh, our integrand is uh, some function of y plus the um, constant arbitrary constant but it is now in terms of function y okay so by doing that by integrating this part we have so once again we need to treat by integrating this we need to uh, integrate this with respect to x and we keep the variable y constant okay constant okay so by doing that so the integral of 4x dx is 4x squared all over 2 right and then minus if this is constant then the integral of constant dx is we have x y or y x okay and then plus our constant c but here um but here it said that we uh, the arbitrary constant is in terms of function y so we need to plus a y this is our um, arbitrary constant instead of by just writing c we need to write a as a function of y okay so uh this is our um, g x y here plus this term a y then for step four it says that differentiate f with respect to y naman keeping variable x constant so last time we integrate m with respect to uh, x keeping y constant and for this uh fourth step we need to differentiate last time we integrate for now we need to differentiate so we need to differentiate this f this f differentiate f with y uh, with respect to y differentiate we need to take the uh, derivative of f with respect to y so partially uh, by keeping x constant so we will only treat um, uh, the integral I, I mean the differential of f, f with respect to y so what is our f this part so our f is this this one right then by taking its partial derivative with respect to y then we keep x constant so if this is constant 4 divided 2 by the way is just 2 so uh, uh, going back we have 2x square and if this whole term here is constant since we will let keep the variable x constant then the um, the um, the um, partial derivative of this part is just zero because the derivative of constant is zero then minus the derivative of constant times y so we have the negative x right this is constant and we will only treat y so the derivative of x negative x y is just negative x then the derivative of this a y is a as function of y is a prime of y so let's have this uh, notation or the notation by uh, saying that the derivative is in terms of prime so we have a prime y or let's simplify this we have negative x plus a prime of y okay so we are already in this form the derivative of g um, this is our uh, g derivative of g with respect to y and then this part here the derivative of a y is a prime y okay 